yeah um she's not on a freaking she's not on a mortgage of the house so she can't tell me to leave because it's his house it's his house like I've been saying so I don't have to pay attention to her telling me to leave like it's like a joke man freaking joke and I don't have to rush to get out of there um like she's making it seem like I have to rush like like he said I don't have to freaking leave because it's his freaking house that's why and he doesn't have a problem with me being there it's just her like he doesn't complain about nothing he's not like that like long if you like clean up and do it like mop the floor and stuff like that and clean up after yourself he's fine he doesn't act like her like nagging about every little detail like one speck on the faucet she'll complain about it even though if i wipe the counters down like i mopped the freaking floor he mopped the floor the other day and she's still complaining it's not good enough like it's ridiculous um but they said like this week they're gonna paint the other apartment and stuff and clean the rugs I wasn't gonna get this apartment. I was gonna leave Tennessee. I was gonna leave here and go to another state. But this will give me the opportunity to um, get situated for a while, live here for a while, like for like, I don't know, two, one, two, three years, stay here, and then go off to another state, move somewhere else. Um, I just want to get situated here first and then stay here for a while and just chill. You know, like I've been in Pennsylvania like all my life, born there and raised. I just wanted to try something new, like coming out to out of Pennsylvania to a new state. Like somewhere out of state of Pennsylvania. And so now I'm here in Tennessee, whatever. I wouldn't have thought it would work this long, but I kept the faith, like praying about the situation, praying about the situation. I kept praying about it, even though I didn't understand nothing. I kept praying about it, like, um, praying when I was going in the hotels, asking God, like, please let me find somewhere to stay. I can't stay on the street no more. And this is the result of him, of all, of all me praying. This is the result of what happens when I was praying. He sent me here. Even though I was going through the situation with this lady, difficult times with her. Really difficult times living with her. I thought she was nice at first, like real like easy to live with. But she freaking changed out. Like, um she would ask me for like extra money for like stuff that wasn't even like had nothing to do with me. So I was like, no. Like different type of stuff I was going through with her. And I didn't let my guard down, though. I didn't let her play me or try to get extra money, you know? Because I was only going to play what the, I agreed to pay them, the $300. She wanted $400, but I talked her down $300 for rent. Um, she's up there freaking that one day telling me, I have to freaking leave and all this freaking stuff. 
Do I have to leave? Get out? Do you have somewhere else to go? Which you know I didn't have nowhere else to go. And the crazy thing about it is she's not on the freaking mortgage of the house to be telling me to freaking leave, you know? He has to have say in that because he owns the freaking house. He owns the house. Not her. She can't own it because she's on like that stuff. I don't know. And there's a freaking law you have to abide by. You can't just tell somebody to get out of your house when they've been staying there for a long time. Paying rent. Getting mail there for like several freaking months. Living there. I'm now a resident there at their house. So you can't just up and tell me to go somewhere thinking it's that easy. No, it's not. You got me in your freaking house. And you see, I'm not trying to like do anything bad to them i'm trying to get on my feet trying to do something and she's up there nagging at me for no darn reason and i didn't even do nothing to her that's the stuff that stresses me out and then she's happy now since i'm getting out of the house she wants to get me out of the house fast for some reason i don't know why because i won't bow down to her like she got that control mentality, man. That's why she's sleeping in the other room. And they're sleeping in separate rooms now. Like, he's acting some type of way to her. But she's saying, like, oh, I don't care. I'm going to stay here anyway. Yeah. That's what's happening there. Crazy stuff. I don't know what's going to happen with all that when I leave there.